this basic syntax uh, I will just use the browser ID itself this dot pad so you can see uh, can execute the basic code by running this and the print statements gives you just prints on the console directly uh, and you can create multiple print statements and whatever written in the argument will be printed directly and each uh, line is separated by semicolon if you don't write that you will get a syntax error like this it is showing here it's being compiled to ECMAScript or JavaScript ECMAScript JavaScript in the background uh, and it will run so you see so uh, like C language uh, the syntax is almost similar here here the main function is the predefined function uh, in dot this method uh, uh, function acts as the entry point to the application uh, so if you want to run any dot scripts it needs to contain main method for execution print is also a predefined statement or function it will uh, just prints whatever string we type here you can keep double quotes also and see it runs and if you remove this void void is the return type still it runs so return type is not mandatory see in the web storm if you want to run it uh, uh, you just need to right click on the dot file as you seen in the previous video and click on run test dot dot alternatively you can type control shift f10 also there coming to the command line options uh, let me see whether i install on this machine yeah, it's i uh, installed here You can use the SDK also directly. So let's say I save this file to test dot dot. Desktop test dot dart. Keep it with quotes. Now on the desktop. Uh, desktop test dot dot right before this pause the run, run the command dot and run it you can see the output so to the dot command I am passing this uh, dot file it prints as that Now let's say before this one let me type hyphen C so it's uh, these are old options they are not visible I think now So this uh, you can execute. So uh, like many programming languages, we have placeholders in Dart also. They are called as identifiers or uh, I mean variables. And variables uh, naming convention is uh, uh, 
it can be alphanumeric and uh, but starts with the letters only you cannot start with numbers and you can have underscore character and you can have dollar also to start with it and you need to skip all the desired keywords which are given for predefined functions and all and uh, this double friend slash is is a single line command and this one is a multi line command okay so whatever written here will be ignored and uh, you have all different data types like uh, uh, integers floats uh, strings everything here and uh, if you have multiple spaces those will be ignored like C language that's it uh,